vehicle from a licensed dealer. It means the state of Nebraska can make sure all the rules are followed to protect you as a customer. When a lot fills up with a lot of cars for sale, the licensing board staff takes notice. Mike McKnight found one and the state took action. Here's tonight's Six on Your Side investigation. Brian Eicher isn't kicking tires, but he's taking VINs, vehicle identification numbers. He's an investigator with the Nebraska Motor Vehicle Industry Licensing Board. And we have a lot of cars that are all stacked up with no registrations, no license plates, and they're just kind of stacked in a corner like this. Uh, it's definitely suspicious for us. So. Any one of us can sell up to eight vehicles a year, but each must be registered with all the taxes and fees paid. These don't appear to be, so a dealer's license is required to sell them. Six in your side approached the owner named Jose, who asked not to be identified. I didn't know it was required a permit for me to sell, to sell vehicles. Jose says he's sold between three and five vehicles in the past few months. $6,500 the windshield price for this vehicle, but that's not an offer sheet. It's a warning from the state saying anyone who sells more than eight vehicles a year without a license could face a felony. The state will give Jose a chance to avoid charges if he either registers all the vehicles or makes application and is approved for a dealer's license. It's more of, I think, a consumer protection. Um, when you start to sell so many cars, you can end up having complaints and all that, and it's easier to track if we have um, dealers that we can regulate. Turning a store parking lot into a car lot also requires zoning approval. It's next to the remodeled apartments in the renewed urban village neighborhood. I don't want to have no problem with the neighbors. I mean, I've been here for a long time, and I don't, I don't want to cause any problems to the neighbors. So the unlicensed dealer jump-started a neighborly appearance by moving all the vehicles from the store parking lot. Near 30th and Leavenworth, Mike McKnight, WWT 6 News. The Motor Vehicle Industry Licensing Board has five investigators covering Nebraska. One of them will be following up on this case. And the owner of the vehicles did contact the state about getting his dealer's license.